What's up guys, Brian with another NRS Pro Series video this week. This time we're coming at you with 10 time NFR qualifying header, Riley Miner. He's gonna to talk to you a little bit about how he ropes a dummy, practices his first swing, and the things he does that help keep him consistent. I'm Riley Miner, 10-time NFR header. Today we're gonna talk about first swing. When I rope the dummy, I like to cover the horns. One thing I've struggled with is having a tight swing, so I try to practice really opening up when I rope the dummy. When I cock it back, like I'm at the finals, I really try to push my first swing out to the right. A lot of people have their elbow up too high and don't cover the right horn. And I'm bad to do that myself, so I really try to focus on it. Cover the right horn. Mm. When it's down low, though, same thing. I try to push everything out to the right when I bring it up. I bring it back and then push it to the right. I feel like naturally it wants to pull to the left, so I try to get it to the right. Most people have low numbered ropers, have their hand out in front of their face too much and their elbow up too high and not covering the horn. So, like just one drill I like to work on, and just keeping it flat and level. I'm kind of, I'm kind of old school, so I still believe right horn, left horn when you get close to them. Yeah, obviously when you're reaching, you reel both horns at the same time. But if you ride a fast course, you don't have to reach very far. Did your horse win the head horse of the year? Uh, he won it a couple years ago. A couple years ago? Yeah. Bob, he's he's been a great one for me. Sure, if you stay square and you know keep your left hand forward is gonna help going towards the cow. Uh, you know, if I got big horns, I go with a bigger loop and a longer spoke and uh if I have small horns, definitely shorten my spoke a little bit and shorten my loop down a little bit. 